Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry if there's some background noise in this video, they're literally smashing up the driveway out there. Anyway, the time has finally come to put some clear coat on the guitar that uh, we've been working on for the last five videos. So, I know it's not in front of me, but don't worry, it'll, it'll be here. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is how to mix the clear coat that I use, or that I'm sorry, that I'm going to use for this guitar. This is a catalyzed polyurethane, it's basically automotive paint. Uh, and well, I'm using it because the paint that I use on the rest of the guitar was designed to go into this stuff. And for a few other reasons, if you're, if you're interested in why I chose polyurethane for this, uh, I've got a video about how to choose the paint for your guitar. Just give that a look and uh, it'll explain the reasons to you. Anyway, I'm going to start off by showing you how to mix it. And then I'm going to try and get a decent shot of me spraying it. But it's not a great idea because it gets all over. It gets all over everything. It'll, it could wreck the camera. So what I'm going to do is put the camera as far away as I can, and just zoom in, and, and hopefully that'll work. So what you're going to need uh, are your two parts for the clear: something to mix them in, something to stir with, paint gun, and I'm not your mother, but I highly recommend that you wear a respirator when you're spraying this kind of stuff, particularly with these catalyzed two component clears and even like when you're using nitrocellulose lacquer, that stuff's terrible for you. You're going to want to wear a mask. Uh, this particular clear coat is mixed four to one, four parts clear and one part catalyst. So it's always helpful to have a cup that has measurements on it. Uh, if you don't, get one that has relatively straight vertical sides and just use a ruler. Just stick a metal ruler in there, pour yourself whatever, an inch of this stuff and then pour this until you get to five. That kind of system works too. So, I'm going to struggle with this for a second because it's kind of hardened in there. There we go because it's time to get back in the gym. And I'm going to pour myself a few ounces of this. Let's see here. Yeah. Now, I'm mixing up way more than I need for a guitar, okay? I'm putting three coats on the guitar today. That's all I'm gonna do is the three coats because they're gonna go on fairly heavy. This is a relatively high build clear compared to a lot of the stuff that people put on guitars. Uh, don't worry, you don't need to mix up this much of it. I'm just doing it because I have some other things that need clear coating while I'm at it. And I don't particularly enjoy clear coating, so I'm gonna get them all done at once. So there we go. That's 20 ounces of catalyzed polyurethane clear coat, which I can already start to smell. So like I said, make sure you're wearing a mask when you spray it. This stuff will harden in your lungs. It won't just get you high like snipping glue. <laughs> Alright, so as opposed to my usual, I'm going to pull you in closer now so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to move you back way further now so I don't ruin my camera and we'll get started on the clear coating. I lied. There are a few other things you should probably know. Uh, first of all, for something like this you want to probably use a gun with a 1.4 or 1.5 millimeter nozzle. So here I've got my my gun. It's uh, got, a, got a regulator on it. You're going to need one of those. Moisture filter. Probably a good idea. And uh, this one takes 23 PSI at the air inlet, 
You might have it done with a digital readout. If you do, you're probably not going to need advice from me on how to use it. Uh, generally, they take about 30 at the air inlet. If you're spraying clear coat, you want it to go on relatively heavy, more so than your base coat. So what you probably want to do is adjust your needle so that it can go pretty much all the way back. You want to open up your fluid adjustment there. And dial back your fan pattern a little bit. I know it seems odd. Usually a bigger fan is easier to work with. Uh, for this stuff, you want to dial it back so it's concentrated a little heavier when you spray. Just like when you're doing most of your base coating and whatnot, you're looking for a 50% overlap here. If it seems like it's going on too dry, feel free to tighten that up a bit, make it a 60 or 70% overlap. But generally speaking, we're looking for about 50%, and you control your build up with how fast you're moving. Uh, okay, hopefully I didn't forget anything this time. Maybe now we can actually use some clear coating. Alright guys, so there we go, now you've seen how I applied my clear. I did uh, three coats of it, that first one was a little lighter than the other two, but after the first one the air started to fill up with clear coat mist and I didn't want to run the camera, so I had to put it away. Um, I guess I'll give you the old do as I say, not as I do routine. Uh, you'll see a lot of professional like car painters and stuff like that, and people like that, uh, wearing full paint suits when they go to do their clear coating and hats and stuff, or not hats, hoods. If you're going to be spraying something like this in any kind of confined area, it's a good idea to basically cover up as much of yourself as possible. Uh, this stuff gets on everything. Your hair feels weird, your arm hair feels weird after you've done it, your head hair feels weird, your skin, you know. people wear gloves for this because the container has warnings on it that say if it comes in contact with your skin, wash thoroughly for however long. So my method <laughs> may not be the smartest in terms of what I use for safety gear. The respirator in my opinion is the most important part, but make sure that you're, you're taking care of yourself when you're doing this stuff. That being said, we've now got a coat of clear on the guitar. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's cured for, well, this stuff hardens overnight. And if you decide that you want to do more coats on it, you, you let it harden for 24 to 48 hours or something like that, then scuff it down and spray it again. Uh, I'm, I'm done with the first three coats. That's all I need for this. So that's about it. If you uh, join me next time, I will be sanding this down to polish it. So that'll flatten out all the orange peel and all that stuff, and hopefully we can get this thing up to a mirror-like shine. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.